What's up everybody, Jake Garn again, welcome back to another video. This is going to be on the 100k store here, um, this is probably going to be the second last video because, you know, we're pretty much done in this series, like, I'll show you all the sales and all that kind of stuff, but this is, I want to give you, um, you know, how we made over 10k in the last three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just over the weekend there, with over 3k net profit GBP, so that's about, you know, 4k in net profit in just three days, um, 10k is about 12.5k in sales USD, so crazy 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 scalability and i'm not sure by the way guys i'm not showing this to show off i'm showing you what's possible and i think most of you guys understand that you know on this channel here we're just trying to give away good value and actually show you guys what's possible and try and educate you as much so you can go and you know do the same in your um, drop shipping stores um as the years go on so like i said we're going to go over the the, the 100k store as well it's probably going to be the second last video as i said because we're pretty much done i've got a couple of question and answers here that i'm getting a lot on the channel. I just thought, you know, for the wide range of people subscribing to this store, um, this is kind of a video they can go back because all these questions here, there's five questions, um, four or five questions I think I've got done. These are the most common questions I'm starting to see on the channel. Um, and just the most common questions, you know, for drop shipping as well, you know, in general. So we'll go over them real quick. But I want to give you guys some transparency as well, like always. So, you know, 90K in sales now, like we, we've done 100K. So if this is the USD, if I was American, like we've already smashed the challenge. But, you know, I'm in GBP. I'm going to finish it um, in GBP. So I'm going to finish it, you know, legit. We should be done literally in like, if we can get a 2K days pretty much every day, we'll be done in like five, five days. You know what I mean? So we're pretty much done. Like I said, this is the second last video. But I want to go over the last three days as well, like we said. So... You know, it was the, the 30th to the, the 1st, right? So here's the proof, 10K in sales. Um, the 30th, 3.1, 3.88 on the 31st, and 3.85. So almost 4K now we're hitting um, in sales, GBP. That's, like I said, that's 5K USD every single day. That's like 150 USD months over a million store um, per year. Over a million revenue in this store if I kept this going. Um, per year this will make so it's absolutely crazy what's possible and um, we just google shopping ads a little bit of bing and facebook you know remarket you guys watched me literally set this store up i think 78 days now maybe 80 days this challenge um will run out on the 18th of november like i said we should be done five six days so we've smashed the challenge but you guys watch this from start to finish so if you haven't by the way and you're brand new i'll leave a link as well there's a playlist i created for this 100k challenge but like I said, it's crazy what's possible. So as well, I want to show you the profit as well, just to give you guys some transparency. Um, 30th, so 967 on the Friday. Saturday was super good. There's 1.4K GBP net. That's almost 2K in um, you know, profit. Um, and yesterday, you know, 866. So super, super, super um, crazy, crazy scalability that we're hitting right now. So, you know, that's just a little update. Like I said, this will probably be the second last video. It's been an amazing challenge. I you know, appreciate you guys following along. We'll do one last video when we smash the 100K this week. Um, you know, maybe Saturday, Sunday, um, we'll film it or something like that. But it just depends when we hit it, obviously. Let's go over the question and answer though, dude. So this is the main one I'm seeing, to be honest. Like, banned from Merchant, you know, hey Jake or hey anybody that's, you know, doing Google shopping ads. Why am I getting banned from Merchant? I've tried like five, six times. It's super, super simple. If you follow the, the Google policies, there's there's so many, like there's a link to where you can go and get the policy. I can't, it'll be in your merchant center, it'll be somewhere, just Google it. But this is typically what I see when I review stores or I've worked with clients in the past, one-to-one, um, -one, that, you know, why they've not been approved. So make sure you're following all the policies. Like I said, if you don't know, just Google it. It's so easy um, to follow them. So the main thing is the contact us page. If you don't have two forms of contact ID, either you know an address phone number or um an email an email address right so you need to have two or three so i would recommend do the email address for the store and a number like i said it doesn't need to be real um but as long as it's like they are on the contact us page and the footer all these pages by the way should be in the footer so if you don't do that 100 percent going to be disapproved that one's the most common for me that i see most people just have an email address you need two forms of contact id and um, the correct country link so if you're you know got your information and it just doesn't link up if you said you want to advertise to let's just say france but you've put like america it's not going to get approved it looks like fraud so make sure that's done also products are allowed to be sold in the country like i see a lot of people trying to sell these dodgy ass products um coronavirus you know just came there recently we're still going through it right now obviously people are trying to sell some silly silly products 
um, that relate to that. And Google are really tracking on this and picking up keywords, just like Facebook are. Like Facebook do not even allow any of that crap anymore. You can still get away with it, but if you're just starting out, let's just sell generic products. Let's not sell any like gun related products. Like any dodgy products, health related products are fine. But if you're putting like, you know, false claims, like, you know, lose weight in one week, you know, blah, 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 and all this kind of crap, or regrow your hair um, in 28 days, guaranteed, all this kind of stuff is 100% going to get you banned from the merchant center. And once you're banned, by the way, they typically do not let you activate that account. So you're going to have to redo a new store, redo pretty much everything. So make sure that you follow that policy. That's a big one I see as well. A lot of people putting some dodgy products up there keywords that shouldn't be allowed brand names all that kind of stuff these are all stuff you'd want to avoid and um, privacy policy and all other pages so refund policy should be there privacy policy terms of service and um, the contact us page like we mentioned before a little about us page um all these pages need to be in the first so make sure they're all good you don't need to rewrite them just go in big stores that you see advertising and google shopping they, you'll see their pages at the bottom copy and paste that and just put replace the store's name and all that kind of stuff and um, with your you know email address and all the kind of other information they've got just replace it with you but the base base stuff is there and if they're already approved it's obviously good to go another big one i see um on the merchant side and the google ads account as well is the payment card you know doesn't match your details or it's just you know it just just doesn't link to you maybe you've got another card and it's linked to an old address any of this kind of stuff is just going to you know even though it might be legit it's just going to you know ring the bell as fraud so you need to make sure that everything's up to date change your date on your card with your bank all these things need to be up to date or you know guess what you're going to get disapproved because i seen a dude literally in my youtube comments the other day saying like he had like five five attempts at new stores and he just couldn't get it I guarantee dude you've missed one of these out or just reach out to them and just say you know what have i missed out because they'll tell you because they want you to run ads as much as you know you do because they want to make money off you obviously you want to make money doing this as well just ask them if you think you've done all that what have i done wrong and um, okay so that's number one the budget for google ads so super super variant right it just totally depends i've seen dudes start way high i've seen you know dudes start way low for example on me on there's a 100k store i started with only 300 pound i just put it in an account um, but technically that 300 pound was a little bit more because remember on google we have a threshold it's not like facebook where like if we put like a 10 pound budget a day and we spend that immediately with google especially in the uk and um, usa and all these other countries you're going to get a threshold where it's either 250 pound um, to start off with so that means you don't have to pay until you spend the 250 pounds so if you get really profit off the bat it's almost like you can grow it immediately and keep super positive with the cash flow also as well if you're brand new and it's a new store and a new account you're going to get like a hundred pound um, gbp or 125 usd um, of free just just ad spend just total free ad spend so you're almost like starting if you have 300 pound you've got a 200 pound threshold 250 let's say that's 550 plus another 100 it's almost like that 300 turns into 650 pound um immediately just with the benefits of google google shopping and google ads in general so just keep that in mind but like i said you know i recommend at least 500 just to keep your safe especially if you're going to go in this by yourself um and you're just brand new it's always best to have more of course scale slowly as, as well with a small budget because you're always going to be behind as well once you start to scale up and um, remember shopify pay if you're using you're not going to get paid for like three days so if you start you know making sales friday saturday sunday you're not going to get t paid till monday now you're like scaling super hard like we are in this store right now and you don't have the cash flow like you're always going to be behind with ad spend and the the product cost so just make sure you're scaling super super slowly if you have limited budget if you got like 10k scale the crap out of it you know who cares because you're good you can keep fueling it and you'll get the money you know always three days behind so it doesn't really matter but if you've got a, lo a little budget like 100 200 pound or usd whatever country you're in just go super super slow if once you start getting some traction because you don't want to be behind and kill the product and start getting refunds and all that kind of stuff if you're not shipping out the product okay so google ads versus facebook ads I'm going to do a full video of this as well. A lot of people say, why do I like Google ads about the Facebook ads? I think I think it's pretty obvious to explain why people don't really, you know, do Google ads or some people don't really heard of like scaling stores with Google ads as well. In general, it's because there's a lot of like e-commerce, let's just say gurus promoting Facebook ads and that's absolutely fine. Just for me, I've tried it. It's not the best in my opinion because, you know, if we think about the customers as a whole, they're actively searching our items. So if they're typing in, for example, I don't know a pet a pet collar right they're typing it in on google they want to buy they're in a you know a buying mood 
we're trying to sell that on Facebook, um, we're trying to find the customer. The customer doesn't actually want us there. We just kind of have to get the, like impulse purchases. I don't like that, to be honest. I like to be able to just serve the customer. They click on my page. If they click on my page and the page resonates, they're probably going to purchase. With Facebook, we're wasting also money on impressions, etc. With Google, I've never paid for a single impression because you don't pay for impressions. And I've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions um, of impressions, maybe even a billion by now, I'm not sure, throughout all accounts. So I've never paid for a penny of them because we don't pay, we only pay for clicks. Um, but I'm going to do a full video on this later this week, why I prefer Google Ads versus Facebook Ads. Like I said, Facebook Ads does still work, there's a lot of people doing it, but it's just really, in my opinion, not the most profitable um, and for me personally, I can never get profitable. Um, so for me, always get Google Ads. Okay, so here's another one common question as well. I've seen this the other day. Um, you know, Jake, why is my Google Ads not getting any impressions for two weeks? So it can be a vary of things. Most likely, it's probably your keywords and product research are off. So you've probably just got bad products and your keywords just aren't, you know, resonating well. So you need to have long tail, short tail keywords. You can't just call it something super broad like Facebook where you can call it whatever you want. You need to actually have what the product is I need to have a decent description, plug in these keywords to kind of push you up what the product is. As well, what it also could be, you're maybe bidding too low. So if, like for me, I bid 0 0.24 GBP as you've seen in this campaign for the 100K store. If you're bidding maybe 0 0.10 um, GBP, probably barely gonna get any impressions to be honest because it's too low. The keywords are just outside that range. So up the bid 10 cents if you truly believe that your products and keywords are, you know, super good but more often the time your bid is often fine it's probably just your product research and your keywords um last question why i don't use reviews now, i've used reviews in the past but for me obviously everybody's seen that look store review app it looks so bad and i see so many stores with this app i absolutely hate it because the customer's seen it so many times and it just resonates if you're drop shipping it's probably a bad experience because this app's been around for like five plus years maybe even longer um, so it's probably resonate a bad experience. Every time I see it, I just think, oh, here we go. Um, it's not, it doesn't look good. There are other good review apps. I just don't waste time with them at this stage because it takes a lot of time to import them um, and everything else. You have to just import the English ones. Some of them have really bad photos. Some of them just don't even make sense. So it takes a lot of time, especially if you're starting out with like a general store, it can take forever. I do do this on a one product landing page, but this is once I'm scaling and I've got it super, super working. So. I don't like to do it off the start. You really don't need to do it off the start. I have done it off the start, but I promise you, you really don't need to be doing it off the start. I'd rather put that time into other, you know, other things that can actually fuel this business. Um, but yeah, dude, that's that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you kind of an update of the 100K store. Like I said, this is probably going to be the second last video because we're pretty much done. Five, six more days, and you know, should be over the 100K just in, you know, just looking at the sales so far. Um, but yeah, dudes, if you've got any more questions you want me to go over, maybe in a future video. I will maybe do one in a couple of weeks again, a Q&A. Um, but yeah, dudes, I'll see you next video. Woo!